Hey, fellow game dev. Um, today yeah. I want to give you a devlog about my menu system. As you can see, I made some progress and I wanted to make a nice looking scene on the beginning, but also set up the right and proper animations and the correct sounds. Um, and I just want to show you um, uh, what I come up with and uh, I hope you like it. It's good to know I'm not allowed in any marketplace assets to use mega scans. So um, I'm limited to my own assets that I can use um, and some, uh, uh, some Epic Games content. So let's check this out. I'm going to press play and I think the sound should work. Nice. Okay, the first thing you notice is we have this uh, startup screen um, now with a press enter to start the game. But when I'm having the gamepad connected, it shows, okay, uh, press the special right button. Um, I just did. Um, and what it will do, it will transition into this menu. And as you can see, it had a fade in and a fade out effect. Um, and you can hear the cave ambient sounds, um, the drips, the music, uh, the crackling fire. Um, overall, I am quite happy with the style and I hope you also like it. Um, I'm able to navigate to options and the options menu will be just a full screen menu with all kinds of settings which are working perfectly fine. Um, it switches between gamepads and mouse and keyboard quite easily. Uh, the, the audio is already coupled, uh, for instance the music. Like so, but also the sound effects. And the overall one. Um, uh, the sounds in the background, like the fire, the water drippings, the music. Um, I did it intentional so you can directly um, hear the difference when you're setting the, these things in the main menu. When pressing play, I have made a couple of screens and it will transition via camera like so. And the character on the right that was sitting near the fire, standing up and um, he is, uh, uh, she's looking around. and. I am really happy with that. When I go back, uh, the character will also sit down again. Uh, I really like that activation effect to say, hey, okay, uh, I'm ready to go, ready to play. So when I'm pressing play, uh, I will see uh, these awesome buttons. Uh, the browsing and the hosting, the, the multiplayer settings are not included. When you click on it, it will uh, show some uh, some tips and tricks for Epic Online services, um, also with gamepad. And um, uh, also the load game is not included. I do not have any loading or saving system included. Of course, the, the, the system settings that you set are saved as the user. But for a game type yourself, you will probably define your own game. So you need to define yourself how you would like to set it up. Um, as well as the resume as the new game, it uh, just loads up a map. Currently, when I press it, it will load an example map, uh, just a big one. Uh, that's not what I'm going to include in the UI system, of course, but uh, eventually I'm working towards something for my ultimate survival framework. Um, on the upper left for you there, it is saying survival framework because I'm going to use this for my survival framework, but the thing that I'm showing you right now is uh, the, the core of my uh, uh, UI system. So I'm pressing play. And when I'm going to click on a resume or new game, it will also uh, do a transition with uh, the camera. First of all, this menu will collapse. The camera will uh, transition to that character and we will have a fade, uh, fade out effect and, and the other map will open. Let's check it out. I like it. Um, obviously, I'm going to include a loading system, however. 
I saw that there were loading systems available uh, uh, for use in, in the SSCC0 licenses, so I will probably use that from the version 5.2. And now I'm just opening uh, this specific map right now uh, where I'm able to pick up stones with my gamepad, uh, but also switch dynamically with my, with my mouse. I'm able to pick up building plans and able to navigate through this UI. These building plans will have radial menus which will work with my gamepad. I'm able to toggle between these menus like so. Let's set up a campfire here. I'm able to place it. I need sticks and stones. I only had stones in my inventory. So let's grab a couple of sticks. That is one stick. Ah, here's the second one. Perfect. And now this campfire is finished. I can transfer uh, wood to it. Let's do uh, a half of the wood that I have. Oh, that is definitely a bug because that is not being transferred. That's something I need to look at. Ah, uh, now it is updated. Ah, it does not accept wooden planks as fuel. It uh, requires uh, uh, coal or wooden logs or uh, uh, something else like that. I'm able to interact with interact locations also in the menu um, and I did create a in-game menu like this and here we also are able to access the settings menu which will also be full screen um, and the settings can be switched easily. Yep, I like it. And of course, we are also able to go back to the main menu again. Information dialog. And it will load up the main menu again. Uh, the cave one. And now we are here again. Perfect. How oh, awesome. If you have any feedback, um, let me know. I think this will be the basis of my new UI system and it also already gives a good sneak peek on the uh, eventual uh, uh, survival framework that I'm going to release. You can already get early access to this framework uh, via the Patreon and if you have all the uh, separate assets like farming, building, interaction, outline system, uh, inventory, etc. Hope you like it. Please let me know what you think of it and I hope you have a nice day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.